Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. Uh, a couple things before we get started. Thank you for joining. Uh, one, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, you can check out your other signs, your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. There is a playlist link in the description box as well. And then lastly, you can now follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I do post, uh, try to post daily messages for you, but I want to just make you aware that Instagram people are uh, trying to copy my account and then solicit money from my followers. So just be careful. Make sure you use the exact address in the description box because there are other accounts that look like mine that are not mine, okay? So with that, Virgo, let's just get started with your reading. I'm going to pull a couple cards here from the Gaia Oracle for you. See what messages we have for Virgo. All right. Okay. So Virgo, two messages you have. You have first message is number 29, which is 11. Thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity. All right, and you also have here number 45, which is nine. This is evolution, earth changes, climate change, and transformation, all right? So I feel like there's somebody here that's thinking about you, and I feel like there's something here that's in the works, some sort of transformation, some sort of new beginning here. It can be anybody here, you know, whether it's um, a new love, right or whether this is uh, someone that you already know okay so let's pull some cards let's see what additional uh, messages we have here for you we're going to get a couple more shuffles i already did pre-shuffle so i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing shuffling cut the cards Okay, so during these readings, really listen to your intuition, what the messages are trying to tell you. Don't force it. It may not uh, resonate with everybody out there, okay? I do post uh, readings every week, and uh, so you can just check back out that time if it doesn't resonate or check your other signs. So we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Hierophant the high priestess wow we got a strong connection here because you got the high priestess and the hierophant this is a strong spiritual divine connection here okay and you have the strength card and you have the emperor you got a lot of major arcana cards here bottom of the deck here we have the four of pentacles all right give me just a moment Virgo, I want to hone in on the energy. We will clarify the cards. We will also um, get the potential outcome of the situation, and then I'll go into what your person is thinking or feeling about you. All right. We have strong, uh, or we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. We have strong Leo, strong Aries, strong Taurus, Cancerian, and Pisces. Okay, I feel like you got somebody who's thinking about you and they're getting ready to make a move here. All right, it feels like uh, Virgo, you've been kind of keeping to yourself here with that four of pentacles. It can be your person as well. Just remember that roles can be reversed. Okay, I see a decision here. All right, maybe somebody's waking up here, making some sort of decision I feel here to come towards you. Okay. This could be somebody uh, who I feel could be very focused on money, their work here. It does feel like there is some distance or separation between you and this person. Like I said, it can be new love. It can be, uh, you know, the distance can just be this person hasn't come in yet. But this can also be somebody here from your past as well. All right. So uh, like I said, really listen to your intuition about the messages you have the Page of Pentacles and you have the High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like you've got a message coming through here to you here. And I feel um, 
This is somebody who's intuitively being guided, I feel, to reach out to you. Now, it feels like it's good news here. Uh, you got the Sarah, you know, thinking of you. Uh, there's an element here of serendipity here. You may receive a message from someone here at the right timing. I'm going to say I'm also feeling that energy that you may even uh, run into somebody, okay, at the right timing. We're going to clarify. We'll see where that goes. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Strength card. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get somebody here maybe very focused on money, career, um, Somebody may be, you know, definitely holding back, maybe because they've been busy working. We'll see what that energy is about. You have the Hierophant and you have the Emperor. Okay, yeah. I get a very strong uh, someone here that you're dealing with, maybe very successful in business, may own their own business here. Uh, I definitely get a very, very strong spiritual connection between you and this person. I feel... Um, Definitely, I, I kind of feel that energy of divine intervention here. The two of you are, are bring, being brought together here, okay, in the perfect timing. That's the change here, okay? That's the change that I see the transformation happening in your situation. So let's clarify the cards and see where this goes. I'm going to get a few shuffles. Like I said, I've done some pre-shuffle. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the page of pentacles and the high priestess here, please? Why is the page of pentacles and the high priestess here, please? All right, yeah, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, fate, fate here, like I said. This is a divine uh, union, I feel. The queen of cups. Yep, there it is, the temperance card, right? Like I said, there's an element here, a divine intervention, divine timing here. Two people, two people who have a very strong connection are coming together. Very strong, um, even I feel emotionally the two of you connect. Even though, um, you know, it may have not been spoken, in, especially if it's somebody new. But look at that, yeah, the magician here. There is definitely an element here of transformation, new beginnings here, fate at work. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups, and the Temperance card. I feel like there's a union here, and I feel there's a very strong sp uh, spiritual connection and emotional connection. So if you know this person, I feel this person hasn't really shared their feelings with you too much here. Could be dealing with a Cancerian, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. You also have your strong Sagittarius. Yeah, there is a message coming through to you. Right? Look at that. Yeah, especially with that knight and uh, the magician here. And look at that. You also have, oh my gosh, the Page of Wands. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. So someone's coming towards you with communication. Someone's reaching out to you. Uh, I do feel like this could be an energy of someone that is coming towards you. This could very well turn out to be a relationship for the long term. Why is the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card here, please? Why is the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card? You got two eights here. Eight may be important to you. You have the Eight. Look at that. The third Eight there. Eight of Pentacles again. Two of Wands. Judgment. Yeah, you got somebody here planning for the future. There is a divine union happening. I feel that um, this person here is being guided. This person's being guided by spirit to come towards you. Look at that. Nine of Cups. All right. Now, for those of you who know someone, you may, um, you know, if there is somebody in your life already and there has been distance i feel like you may have pulled back your energy here virgo um you have the eight of pentacles the two of wands and the judgment card i feel like you got somebody here that you're dealing with they're a very hard worker i feel like this person may be focused very much on um their work i feel like this person's gaining the courage to come towards you making that decision i feel like this person's definitely been thinking about the future here all right 
Uh, you got the Nine of Cups here. So I get here that this is somebody um, who definitely sees you as someone they could be very, very happy with, somebody they could be content with. Very interesting here, Virgo. This could be somebody too who lives at a distance. The two of you may have some past history together, like I said, could be somebody you already know. If you don't know this person, you could have, I'm hearing um, like mutual friends um, or like similar pasts. Uh, maybe the two of you have done the same things or gone through the same things in your life. I'm hearing that as well. Why is the Hierophant and the Emperor here, please? Why is the Hierophant and the Emperor here, please? Strong Taurus, strong Aries energy. You have the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Wow, someone stepping up, taking action going to pursue you here. This may be somebody too who spends a lot of time alone, but this is your energy here, Virgo. So this person's been doing a lot of thinking about this. Like I said, this is somebody who plans, they plan their next move. They want to make the right move here. You've got the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles, all right? So like I said, I do feel this person is coming towards you with communication. I feel this person wants an opportunity with you. They're stepping up to the plate here. For some of you, if this is somebody you know, um, I feel this is someone who wants to uh, work with you on a relationship here. I do get a strong energy of potential of a relationship between you and this person. Maybe you're in a relationship with this person, but this person is definitely very focused on the two of you coming together. Now for others, like I said, I feel like there could be similar paths. There could be somebody who is bringing the two of you together uh, is what I'm getting here. Somebody may be helping you and bringing the two of you together as well. So very interesting here, Virgo. So I'm going to get the potential. Um, and look at, as I'm saying that, look at that. Three of Pentacles popped out again. All right. So I am going to, <laughs> I can't say anything and the cards are starting to pop up. I am going to uh, pull two more cards for the potential here. And then I'm going to ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you then we'll dive deeper in the extended and we'll look at their upcoming actions additional actions their intentions love notes and uh, wisdom and guidance so let's get two more cards here for virgo what's the potential here for virgo and this person wow Okay, look at that. <clears throat> Again, two of the same two uh, counterparts here, King and Queen of Wands. You had the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Yeah, there's a lot of passion or there's going to be a lot of passion here between you and this person. This person is definitely seeing you as very, very attractive, very, very um, <clears throat> sexy, okay? And I feel... Um, Maybe also you're very passionate about what you do. You also have here the Seven of Wands. So there's definitely, and look at that, here's the Temperance card again. There's definitely a strong spiritual connection between you and this person. And I feel like you may have, if you already know this person or you were seeing this person and you know maybe things faded or there was a separation or a breakup, I feel like this person is seeing you as somebody who has been really focused on you, really focused on your life and um, maybe even doing some um, some spiritual or self-improvement work here. So this person is really seeing you in a good light. You have the three of pentacles, you have the wheel, and you have the six of pentacles, all right? I feel, you know, in this deck with the Six of Pentacles, I see this as like a payout, right? It's a payout. Uh, you getting what you want here too with that wheel. And the Three of Pentacles, again, this person showing up, uh, wanting to be with you. And like I said, for some of you, if this is somebody new, there could be somebody um, that you know that is helping to bring the two of you together. I'm getting that energy. So, wow, very nice there. Let's see now what your person is thinking or feeling about you. 
<clears throat> this is going to be for those of you, um, you know, it could actually go either way for new love or someone you know already. How is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? Okay, you have the Knight of Wands. You have the Empress. Yeah, they're very attracted to your energy. You're showing up as the Empress. They see a lot of growth, a lot of potential here. Yeah, this is someone here. Look at that, Queen of Swords. They're seeing you as somebody who is very focused, like I said, on you. Very focused on making decisions that are right for you. Uh, they see you as very logical, okay? Very logical, very attractive. Um, now, this could be somebody that you already know that maybe you put your guard up with or maybe you set your boundaries with because maybe you were looking for you know, something to grow to something long term. All right. But this person is definitely, again, feeling very passionate about you, excited. Um, I see this person here again. I see a message coming through to you. This person I feel wants to see where things go. Okay. Some of you, this could be a rebirth. Okay. A revisit from the past. So there's an evolution, a change here. And uh, for others, I see new love. So I'm going to take it to the extended. For those of you, this is somebody you already know. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.